Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we're going to look at ladies from 36 to 55 years old. So, man, this one, we've got a lot of boss chicks. They went the man's path. They're extremely frustrated, clearly, about the dating options that they're getting. They don't understand the sexual market that as you get older, you have to have less requirements because they've they've built this robo man in their head of what they want. And it's, I mean, we've seen the data. 45% of women are gonna be single and childless by 2030, and this is a huge reason why they just don't. All right, we show this every so often. We have a ton of new subscribers. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Uh, my one video, as I've talked about, episode 189 has now nearly 10,000 views. Uh, unbelievable, so it's just gotten a ton of impressions and bringing a bunch of people to the channel. Anyway, uh, so this is the SMV chart by Royal Tomasi. I'll link his channel again in the description. You know, women peak early in terms of the, the uh, get the man of their dreams. Women in their mid twenties can, if they're attractive, women can pick up from any man just about they want. Any man on this chart would be with them. Um, men peak later in life. They do. It's just the truth, ladies. I mean, you just got to understand this. Men in their late thirties, or you, you know, a guy who's made it knows how to dress. He's learned, you know, how to wear. It. He's probably bought some suits. He's got some sophistication to him. He knows how to, you know, knows has some game. Um, and he's making his money now, late 30s, he can then pick probably from the women he wants. If, if an attractive 20 year old often will date that guy if they wanna get married. Now, if they just wanna have a hot girl summer, sure, they're looking for young Chad, good for them. But I'm talking about if you want a relationship with a guy. And men do age differently than women, it just it's just the case. I, I'm not saying that, th of course, there's exceptions. We had a gorgeous 53 year old uh, lady on one great profile today, the other day, because I mean, she was stunning. She really was. So, I mean, yes, that she has options. I mean, obviously if that, you know, some people thought she was fake. I I can't imagine someone lying and saying they're 53, but you know, and also she had uh, several things written. So I, I just I didn't buy that, but uh, okay. So just to be very clear, it's just different. And so women who the, what we're gonna see on today's episode are, you know, look, we're talking about right here to here. I mean, they just don't have the options they did when they were younger and they don't understand. That's just the truth. The women don't understand the sexual market. Continue. You see in this chart, uh, men rate women very fairly attractively. You see that some women are very attractive. Some women aren't as attractive. It's right in the middle. It's an almost perfect bell curve of how they rate women's attractiveness level. Women are completely unfair. You see that almost 80% of men they're saying are less than, you know, not even uh, average attractiveness, which of course is ridiculous. And they find very few men attractive. Their standards because of social media and their unrealistic, you know, unrealistic expectations of how men should look. You know, they, you should see, we've seen the data. Look at my previous episodes. We've seen the younger ladies going, they all think guys look like, you know, boy band members and are chats. Like they think that the average guy looks like that. It's just ridiculous right now. And men aren't this way. We're not as unfair. It's just the truth. You can argue it all you want and get mad about it, but it's the data just to show this. We continue. So again, we showed this chart, this study many, many times. What do men and women look for in a part of this was from, from Australia seven years ago, you know, almost 8,000 survey respondents. So it's not like it was a small sample size. You see, these are how they rated how important they were in a partner. Women uh, exceed men in everything. And you think the one thing that they would be more, you know, that men would be way higher than would be attractiveness and physical build. You can see that it's almost identical. Women want a guy that's hot and rich and intelligent and uh, have emotional connection and trust and open. It's just ridiculous. They built robot man in the dreams. It's unrealistic. So this is the issue right now. And this is one of the reasons I started the channel. Absolutely unrealistic expectations. You can, you know, I get, I hit so funny when I see my videos, I get, they get a random dislike or, you know, several dislikes. I'm like, I know some unhappy gal found it and doesn't like the truth, but, uh, okay, let's get into the profiles. So in Daily Delusions, we always start with a great profile. This is the great profile today. And she's 47. She's a flight attendant. I mean, she, she is stunning by the way. And you'll see her in just a moment, a full body picture. She does not look her age. She has kept herself in great shape. She watches her diet. She clearly works out. She continues. And so she's 5'8", she's quite tall, and you know she says about me, please be kind, honest, and intelligent. Okay, so these, these are fair requirements, bonus points if you're athletic. She even said bonus points if you're athletic. Okay, so even though she's quite athletic, she's like, this lady could be swiping on Chad. A Chad even around her age would take the deal, okay? But, and she's not even saying all these requirements. She says, looking for a place to park my camper. Okay, so she likes to do, uh, uh, you know, uh, camping, fine. I never married and don't have kids, sure. 
nature, scuba. Uh, she likes to do the um, stand up, the SUP, it's the stand up paddle boarding. Being silly, silence, yoga, adventure, oceans, and lakes. Okay, I mean, again, this is just a few things that she likes. This is really like exactly what I say, gentlemen and ladies. I, this is what I say a couple nice things about yourself and then a, a few things, and then some great pictures. She does it exactly. She continues. I mean, look, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Ma'am, you cannot be 47 years old. I did not stretch this picture, by the way. This is, I mean, if you talk about a picture of what men want in one picture, I mean, the long hair, the great body. I mean, now, I know what you gentlemen are gonna say. Why is she still single at 47? We don't know her story. She could have, her standards don't seem ridiculous. Now, if she does have higher standards, but she could probably have a few more standards. She looks, you know, 15 to 20 years younger than she is. She knows her dress, she knows what men want. Now, she could have just been married, who knows? She says, favorite quality person is honesty. That's totally fair, ma'am. Again, she can shoot for the stars. It's realistic based on the person she is and also that she's not, you know, she's not seen the guys be rich as well, but a lot of these, now, if she wants that too, we don't know that. Anyway, um, I, I feel like I'm defending myself. Everyone's like, why is she so single? I mean, there are some good ladies out there who are single. <laughs> I, I have to believe that in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, continue. She then says, if I could have a superpower, be teleportation, that's a pretty standard answer. But here she is playing some darts. She's showing she likes to have a good time. I mean, just these are great pictures, ladies. I mean, ladies, I can't tell you. The bathroom selfies that get some friends to take pictures of you, you know? And I'd say that to gentlemen too. Don't take bathroom selfies, take real pictures. Don't just do the self-portrait stuff. Take some time and, you know, make some effort into this. She continues. I mean, she's just a beautiful woman. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, here she is camping, so she knows she's obviously she's outdoorsy, outdoorsy, she's hiking and stuff in her you know, bikini. What a gorgeous woman, ma'am. You get a round of applause. <laughs> she seems fit, feminine, and friendly. Again, I don't know if she's kind and you know what her standards are, but you know, look, we can only judge off the good profiles. All right. There is gonna be a lot of nonsense today. Let's get into it. So she is 49, has her dumb pronouns, and she's a notary and says about me, relationships don't need to be difficult. We overcomplicate things that can be a lot of fun. I need someone kind and someone who can laugh at me and at me, laugh with me and at me in a genuine caring way. Okay, um, yeah, relationships, okay, fine. But what are you getting at, ma'am? But then she says, dogs are greater than most humans. Oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Ma'am, then just do this. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. Really, if you have what you need, by the way, she got this. I'm a PhD. If you have what you need already, then go, then fine. I mean, why would you put this in your dating profile? Even if you think this so much. Great. Again, this isn't your own Facebook. This is not Reddit. This is your dating profile. She continues. If you're a one and done human, I'm not knocking it. It's just not my thing right now. <laughs> Let me take a step back. Um, often, you know, one night stands and things like that, are, are, they're not necessarily planned. I'm not saying they're always not planned, but a lot of the time you meet somebody and if it goes right to bedroom fun, one of the two people goes, oh, I'm, I'm not into it anymore. Ma'am, if you get into that situation, that's on you, not men. No one, you don't, you, no one makes you go home with a guy on the first date. It's, it's just stupid to put this. And it's, we also, we all know too, when the guy you're highly attracted to, you do hook up with them and it's often turns into a one night thing. We continue. So she's 45 and also has her dumb pronouns, says busy mom, kids come first. Oh joy, the single mom starter pack. said so many times we're gonna see a bunch of this by the way boys I, I know some of you love the single mom startup pack we're gonna see a ton of these la ladies <clears throat> we don't care about your kids we don't know them they're your kids just leave them out you can put them down there in the basics we don't care that you're a mom doesn't it just doesn't matter to us <sighs> didn't you uh in my life but i do make time for myself okay if you do not have a job live with your parents or have drug or alcohol problems do not message me Ma'am, once again, people with drug or alcohol problems do not read through your profile usually and go, oh, wait, she doesn't like that. 
I mean, it's just, it's, it's almost like virtue signaling. If you like, you have to put this. It's, it's just so ridiculous. Also, and you see this right here, boys. See women, we've seen tons of women on here who like don't have a job and they're like still, you know, and see women get bailed out by society. Women can have no job, but if men doesn't have money, they, they can't, they don't get bedroom fund. That's the truth. Unless you're just, unless you're a super hot Chad type guy, because Chad can get better from everyone. But like, if you're just a normal guy, don't have a job, like, you know, this something happened to you. Oh, oh, oh my God, I can't deal, date you. Sure, man. Now, the best part about this is she says this, if you don't have a job, live with your parents or have drug or alcohol problems, do not message me. But then she said this. My most used skill is I can talk to anyone. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> I guess, unless if you don't have a job, you or you, you know, you're you have drug or alcohol problems. I guess then you can't talk to me. I'm, <laughs> Bruh. Oh, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Oh, ma'am, yeah, I'm just smiling away. Yeah, ma'am, good luck to you. Continue. So she calls herself Diamond and she's 37, also has her dumb pronouns, and she's a CEO, so you know that's gonna get good. And she says about me, I'm a woman of creativity. I'm hardworking, genuine, open-minded, free-spirited, energetic, and outgoing. Ma'am, how in the hell do we know any of this? Really, you, a couple things about yourself, but all this crap. And also when people talk about themselves this way, it's usually not true. She continues, you'll be adorned by my gorgeous smile. It's a symbol of radiance. My motto in life is to be, is to be unique and lead with style. Are so full of yourself already and she's not done boy she continues give a woman such as myself the right pair of heels and I can conquer the world one million dollars man why the hell do we have to give you some heels go buy them your damn self if you're a CEO <laughs> we see this all the time I'm a CEO but I need you to spend a bunch of money on me oh and she's gonna continue with this boy she she says this I promise I won't judge you if you want to spoil me. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. million. Yeah. And you can see her up there. Red flag, stop. Yeah, just all this, you heard her talking about herself. Like, oh, I'm just some God's gift to, ma'am, you've got some bad tattoos. You're a single mom at 37 years old wanting a man to buy you heels for some reason. She continues. And you see her. By the way, she's this. That's a huge bitch. And then says, per first date, nice dinner with drinks and good conversation, followed by some crazy activity. Damn, so all you've done is talk about what the men can do for you and about how awesome you are. I do not believe you, ma'am. You're just an overweight single mom with bad nails and a ridiculous overinflated ego about herself. It's just, it's never gonna happen by any self-respecting man, continue. So she's 46 and has a bunch of other bad tattoos. Hang on, I got this. Red flag, stall. And then says, about me, local. About me again. <laughs> then she lists a bunch of uh, dumb emojis. Hope you're ready. Got the red wine. And she's got food, some sort of like chicken leg, and then sushi looks like, and whiskey. And she likes, I don't know what that is. And she got more, more sushi and bacon. And she really likes it. And then she says, second dinner, when my first one sucks, I can probably eat more than you. Let's meet over food or drink. And ma'am, I have this for you. <laughs> Ma'am, this is not your own Facebook. We don't need to give you first and second dinner. And also, we, we don't care. Ma'am, all we see when you talk about this much food is that you're this. That's a huge bitch. What? <laughs> Just so unattractive. Ma'am, you're 46. Do you really not know what men want still at 46 years old? That we don't want overweight women. She continues. I like to try new things, but can listen to the same five songs all day. Uh, sure. Open to meeting new people and get out of my bubble. I love open communication and honesty. Ma'am, you're probably a little too honest about your addiction for food or whatever you, what the hell's going on here? Of course, she's got foodie down there as well. Teach me something new. I use chopsticks, guess my hair, but I don't 
No one to use them on food, ma'am. All you've done is talk about food. <laughs> My God. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> again, ladies, the few ladies you watch, it's not attractive. We just, uh, you know, mentioning that you maybe want to go to dinner, okay, but that's all you talked about, man. We know that you're just going to be humongous. Continue. So she is 50 and she says she doesn't have any picture. This is what she had. Some people say their body is a temple. Mine is a bouncy castle. <laughs> How about new? And then she says about me. I am not a hard body. I'm squishy. I'm not fit at all. I hate the gym. I I'm 40 pounds over where I should be. And although I wish to, I don't have to, to, I wish I didn't have to loose. She meant to say lose, but said loose. I am the process of loosing anyway. I live in a certain place and travel weekly for work. We were engaged. So she then talks about our previous relationship. We were engaged, not married. Sure, ma'am. So talk about your ex. I have baggage and I don't know what, what I want, if anything. So drama too. But I'm a human, so sometimes I get lonely. I'm trying to figure it out. Message if you dare. And ma'am, I have this for you. Ma'am, nothing in your profile at all would ever lure any man. I mean, you've got to be. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You, you don't know between lose and lose. <laughs> you, you're massively overweight. And then you're talking about you have a bunch of drama and then message if you dare, like it's some sort of challenge. <laughs> Ma'am, <it's just laughs> hold on. Red alert. <laughs> All hands to battle stations. I just, is it, this cannot be real. Did someone put these words on here to think a man. And the worst part, there's some simp who swiped on this person. <laughs> so she's 52 and says, my friends describe me as outgoing, happy, adventurous person who likes to live life to the fullest. Ma'am, that's your friends though. They're gonna of course say things like that. She continues. I don't like to sit home. I like traveling. Gardening, hiking, camping, making new friends, learning new hobbies. Okay, th that would have been fine to start with, although you all like to travel. Got it. I do not like hypocrisy, mind games, dishonesty, and I'm looking for a companion, somebody who enjoys to travel. And ma'am, you said it twice, so I have this for you. Here go. Stop. Stop it all. All right, so for the few ladies who who watch and maybe you know are, are, you're starting to get offended and you're watching my stuff and you maybe maybe can learn something. Okay, again, listing travel all the time. Yes, of course, you, everyone likes to travel, but to sit there and constantly talk about it, it just sort of sounds like you want the man to do it on your dating profile. So, it, it, and also, if you've made it, why don't you take the man travel? You could put in here. I like to travel so much, I'll take a guy traveling or I have a companion pass, something like that. I've seen it once in a while, but it's like, and also it's not going to be strictly e e uh, equal when you want a high, you know, high value man, the guys you all are attracted to, the guys you're swiping on, you know, the attractive guys who have things going for them do not want a complete equal. It's Batman and Robin, not Batman and Batman. We continue. So she's 42 and she has her dumb pronouns and she is an HR manager and says about me. Are you ready to enjoy spending some time with an attractive woman who is smarter than you and knows about more about sports and will hold her over you like an asshole? <laughs> nope. Please continue, ma'am. Nerdy sports fan taking applications from my summer league team. By the way, she's this. That's a huge bitch. Okay, continue, ma'am. Be funny, fun, and intelligent and have your application considered. If you are a douche, that's great, but you aren't for me, buy himbos. And then three kissy faces. Not sure what to say? Tell me your favorite team or Marvel character and why. And ma'am, I have this for you. I'm sorry. Actually, what I said was... How would you like to suck my butt? Ma'am, you're not even average. You're not even average. You're attractive to who? <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Ma'am. A, 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 a guy who plays Call of Duty all day 
and is it, you know overweight like you would be a catch for you but you think someone has to apply to to date you <laughs> <laughs> ma'am you're way past here and you'd be lucky to find any man who wants to be in a relationship, much less have requirements on the man. And you're attractive, to, again, to who, ma'am? Just get out of here, but does continue. So she's 41, account manager, and says, Mom, to two amazing girls, love finding live music and enjoying a good patio. Okay, so, I mean, yes, we, <laughs> we've said it so many times, we just don't care about it, continue. Looking for my tall, country western dancing partner, ma'am, I found him for you. Ma'am, tall Chad, who's around your age, who's made it and can is a country, tall country western dandy, who knows how to do, you know, line dancing, is gonna date much younger women without kids. Why would he date you? Are you swiping on men who are in their 50s? I bet you're not. I bet you're still swiping on the most attractive guys and going, why don't they take the deal? You have two kids. It's a huge deal for men. And just sit there and like wait and putting it in your profile again. She's not had, doesn't have this in her head going, I love a tall guy who knows how to do line dancing. We already did that, by the way. Only 30% of men uh, know how to dance and very few than that uh, would probably know how to do country line dancing. Not a tall guy who's made it, who's attractive, is not gonna date you, man. He's gonna date women in their 20s. You cannot compete with them. <laughs> we continue. So she is 55 and you can see her up there. That's a huge bitch. And she says about me, single mom of almost an 18 year old daughter who is the love of my life. And ma'am, I have this for you. <laughs> my God, we don't care about your stuff. We don't care about your kids and your animals, ladies. We just don't care. They're yours. We don't know them. We just want to get to know you and you. I'm going to say it over. I'll, I'll just keep saying it forever. Too small, sometimes obnoxious dogs. <laughs> Man, hang on. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Surprised that there's no option for golf in the interest. Man, I promise there is an option for golf, but I love to golf. Okay, cool. That, that, which you just, I wish you just started with that. I love to golf and love to watch sports. Great. Independent and stable. <laughs> nope. Man, we don't want, if you're so damn independent, leave, live by yourself and die alone. Seriously, ladies, if you don't need us. Want to share life with someone? I don't believe you, ma'am. Zero tons for liars. Just be genuine. Love to travel. <laughs> ah. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. Shabadoodle, million, shawnee, gawashly, million. Yeah. Learn about different cultures and try new things. I enjoy going out for the night as much as quiet, quiet night in. Yes, okay, you like it all, sure. Verify yourself. Too many scammers. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, that's not how scammers work. If a guy was gonna scam you, he would not tell you up front <laughs> he was gonna be a scammer. He would just do it. <laughs> it just, Ma'am, you're 55. You don't have any more time to waste to sit there, get to the gym, get fit, and then you'll have better dating success and stop talking about nonsense like your kid and your dog, we don't care, continue. So she's 41 and says, if we match, lucky you, take the lead and plan a date. If you golf, even better. Okay, so she wants a leader type guy. Then she says, shopping and shoes. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> sure, ma'am. I'm sure you, like, everyone likes free things. I bet you would from the guy you're highly attracted to. So take the lead and give me free things. Oh, continue, ma'am. Golf, beach, and Scorpio. I don't have anything in common with you. So she's 48 and says she's a boss. This is another one that liked me, by the way. And uh, yeah, this is just good stuff. <laughs> and so then she says, school of life at 20, 2033. I have no idea what she's talking about. I think she's this. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> She, I think she's going to confirm it as well. She says about me, so funny that no one my age wants me, but the 20 year olds keep coming. And ma'am, that tells us everything we need to know. And that's exactly what I've said. Let's take a step back. I've said this many, many times. What's going on with these ladies in the danger zone is that they're getting hit on by younger guys for, to smash so that they can get dates. So if any lady who finds a channel and thinks that she, he acts like older women don't have bedroom fun. Oh, I'm not saying you don't. Any woman of any age can have bedroom fun. Any any woman. But can you get a relationship for that younger guy? I bet you can't. 
and guys around your own age who've made it. I got, she swiped on me and I'm around her age. Guys who've made it, who are attractive and you know, who, who have things that women want are gonna date younger women and they don't get it. So she's confirming it right here. I just need to replace my 24 year old that gave me sex a few times a month. I just need one. How about new? That's exactly the problem, ma'am. You have to either swipe on much older men or you have to be with men who maybe don't give you all the tingles at 48 years old because you're not all that. She continues. You see right here, very average looking woman and it's not, not a great picture and says a non-negotiable. I don't like clothes. I like to be naked, but socks, no. Don't wear them around me and we're good. I want a guy who gets up early and stays up late and ma'am, you're this. Ma'am, what man is going to take you seriously when you talk about you don't wear clothes all the time? <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> By the way, this is episode 199 of this. I mean, I, and you'd think they would get better. You'd think there'd be some sort of like, okay, they would finally figure it out or it'd be less cuckoo. Like, they, they'd get worse. I mean, I just can't believe you write this in your profile. Anyway, we continue. All right, so I have two final profiles a day because they're literally clones of each other. And honestly, at the end of it, they should probably date each other. Let's get into it. So she is 45 and she's see her down there. She's a founder and CEO. And she says, self-employed business owner, entrepreneur, my work is based on spirituality, healing, childhood wounds, trauma, etc., and energetics. I am really a mix of Deepak and Tupac. <laughs> Gentlemen, you just see it. She's completely full of herself. I mean, she is skinny. She is fit, okay? But she's got a mohawk. You'll see her picture in the next one. It's not what men want, and she doesn't get it. She just doesn't understand men and what we actually want. We don't want to compete with you ladies. And you're going to see two profiles just like this. She continues. And uh, yeah, I mean, completely full of us talking about a famous person. I'm deep, bold, spiritual, colorful, adventurous, and fun. Not outdoorsy unless it's by poolside or the beach. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Man, how do we know any of this crap? Also, you're describing a man. You became the man you wanted to meet. And you're going to, both these, you'll see. The other one is the same way. You both became the man you wanted to meet and no man's gonna measure up and you're in your damn 40s. It's never gonna happen, he continues. I'm calling it a conscious, conscious, healthy, masculine man who will be my lover on all levels, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically, and for whom I can be the same, not available less. Or, here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Ma'am, it's just not gonna happen. Your requirements have to be less and they think because they've made it, they went the man's path. And now that they have made it, they're like, can we popped out of Pismo Beach like Bugs Bunny in their 40s going, where is this amazing man? Ma'am, it's just never gonna happen. We're gonna we'll keep talking about it, Denise. And then she says, and you can see this ridiculous outfit. She literally, before I comment on this, I mean, you see this outfit, okay? And this would be like a, a guy who dresses like Elton John on his profile, you know, going like, you know, why aren't you attracted to me? Ma'am, this outfit is way out there. Only other chicks are gonna find this attractive. You gotta be kidding me with this. And she says, the one thing you should know about me is I'm in a committed vow of conscious celibacy. How selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you wanna do. Ma'am, what is in it for the man to wait for you? you... <laughs> hey, I gotta do it again. <laughs> Red alert. All hands to battle stations. I... Ma'am, what do you mean? You already, she, now she's gonna talk about, she already has a kid. Ma'am, you're 45. The time for celibacy is over. If you wanna try to find a man, a man's not gonna wait for you. You have a list of requirements and you don't wanna give him bedroom fun. I just, I can't. Oh, hell no. I can't get over it. I, I'm going to lose it before this. All right, she continues. And you can see her. She's just, 
she thinks she's all that, says, I'm looking for someone who has done and continues to do the work. Values communication, integrity, adventure, fun, deep combos, funny, and it's a philanthropic heart. It asks me about what I do for work. I'm not a typical artist, ma'am. I have this for you. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. And hey, man, we know who you really want. See, a chat around your age, ma'am, and I'm sure you're not swiping. I guarantee she's not swiping. She's probably swiping on younger guys, too. She's not swiping on guys in their 60s. A guy around your age who has all the stuff you want is going to date 20-year-olds or early 30-year-olds. They're not going to date you with all your boss injury and mohawk. It's just never going to I mean, I'm just... Look, I'm not saying no men like mohawks, but they're... I mean, I, I, put it in the comments, gentlemen. How many, how many of you like women with mohawks? She continues. She finishes up with the bravest thing I've ever done is have a baby at 16 and keep her and raise her on my own. Now she is fit and attractive except for the hair and the hair is just so terrible. So I, I'm not saying it's impossible, but her standards are keeping her single. Like you can just see the energy. You so, go back to the, I mean, it seems like forever ago, Go back to her original profile, the first profile of the day. I mean, a couple nice things about herself. She was even way more attracted to her, a couple years older than her, and didn't have this list of standards and requirements. Okay, so here's boss number one. Here is now boss number two. So she's 42 and has her dumb pronouns and says she's also a CEO, and then she's gonna yell at us. I hope you're ready. About me, looking for a quality person, scuba, dog mom, no baggage, and travel. Okay, so again, she clearly wants a guy who makes the same amount of money as her. By the way, she got this. I'm a PhD. She wants the same amount of money as her and all this crap. She's going to continue. Food and wine in Michelin restaurants are on sidewalks. Yep, got to be super rich guy. Seeking polished. International multicultural male for LTR. Tattoos, uh, no tattoos, no Trump. Be willing to meet. Yep, got to have the same exact political stance as her too at 42. You cannot make this up. She's going to, by the way, this is going to be probably, I'm going to go back and count how many requirements she has because this whole profile is all requirements. It's, it's going to be one of the most delusional. This might make the Hall of Fame. All right, forgot about that. All right, now, continues. Value deep connections, quality relationships, overachiever, but not competitive. Stop the cap. Ma'am, okay, you've got to be kidding me with that. Of course you're competitive. We can already see how competitive you are. You became the man you wanted to meet. You're super competitive, and now you have a list of standards and requirements at 42. Ma'am, again, what is in it for the man? But she doesn't care about that. She just has the requirements. Here we go. She then says, we'll get along if you're intelligent. Secure with a smart, capable woman. European refined. Foodie. Quality person. Well-mannered. Drama-free. Educated. Polished. Humble. And clean. Cut. <laughs> the bitch is crazy. <laughs> uh, that, that, but we're, we ain't seen nothing yet. Let's continue. She then says, swipe right if you're smart, attractive, accomplished, humble with good heart, good sense of humor, quality guy, elegant, looking for polished, international male for LTR. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's not it, my friends. She has one more picture and she says, the quickest way to my heart is food, laughter and kindness, loyal, faithful, great sense of humor, positive disposition, friends first, preferably no kids like me and ma'am, we know who you want. Yeah, you want French, you know, Chad to come in and wife you, sweep you off your feet. Okay, now we're gonna go back and look at all her requirements. How many we're talking about? So, okay, let's go back in time. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. So, 42 year old lady. Let's see. So, uh, uh, all right, so travel, food, all right, she starts with, okay, so she says, so polish. So, so one, two. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Oh, she's saying about her. No, sorry. When she said overachiever, but not competitive, she was, that was about herself. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so that's eight, nine. Okay, nine. <laughs> Wait, I, th I thought that was even about her. That's about the guy. So he has to be not competitive. <laughs> oh my God, this lady. Okay, nine, <clears throat> 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, 20 requirements. All right, she continues. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. All right, she did list international milk, but I'm going to, since she keep listing it up, so 30 requirements. All right. Then she said, so 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 39 requirements. <laughs> We can't make this shit up. We can't make this shit up. <laughs> All right. Wait. Okay. So this actually, we have not seen one in a while. She might make. She's going to make the tournament for certainly most delusional profile ever. Both you ladies should just date each other. That's truthfully the only two people that that really will probably satisfy your, your quench for all the things you want. Just really go date each other. You guys can travel the world together. And I'm, it's just the only solution. There's no man who will live up to this. Who's going to there's no man who will live up to this. That will be uh, into you, ma'am. A guy who has all that stuff is gonna go date uh, models. You want like a Tom Brady type guy, honestly, like a famous, or I mean, international guy. I mean, like a, I guess some soccer, you know, like famous soccer player type guy. He's gonna go date young models, ma'am. It's never gonna happen. Um, and uh, before I leave it there for today, just again, just a reminder about channel membership. Please go ahead and take a look at uh, joining the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That, uh, and I will leave it on this. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all support and all our subscribers. If you did like the content, give me a like. If uh, you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to subscribe, please go and do it. That's free. Again, check out Channel Membership, and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.